The man USA Today called America's walking guru recently came to town to help get people moving to improve air quality. Suggesting that if you were a physician presented with somebody who's at risk for but not yet developing diabetes, the best thing you could do is not write a prescription for a drug, but to help them to change their lifestyle to include moderate physical activity and an improved diet. This is so powerful, by the way, they stop the study early. Mark Fenton is a former Olympian and host of the PBS show America's Walking. Fenton is a recognized authority on public health issues and the need for community, environmental, and public policy initiatives to encourage more walking and bicycling. He has several years of experience empowering people to make healthy lifestyle changes and helps businesses develop successful wellness programs that encourage employee participation. We have engineered physical activity out of our daily lives and I am submitting that the real approach that we are taking at the national level is to actually try to engineer it back in. Hence, we are starting to see partnerships between health promotion programs and, wait for it, transportation demand management programs all over the country. We're seeing wellness coordinators and TDM managers or coordinators actually working together and saying, we're both looking for the same outcome. You want fewer cars to show up in the parking lot or in the parking deck or in our neighborhood. We want higher air quality, and I want people to be more physically active. We could get to the same place. By the way, now we're talking about lifestyle-based physical activity. Fenton was the first speaker in a series of four nationally recognized Clean Air Works speaker workshops designed to help local business leaders build robust, successful commuter programs at their business. Launched in spring of 2006, Clean Air Works is a project of the Regional Air Quality Board in collaboration with the Regional Planning Alliance, the City of Charlotte, Mecklenburg County, Charlotte Area Transit System, the Charlotte Chamber of Commerce, the Central Line of Council of Governments, and the Catawba Regional Council of Governments. Every time you were going to go to a destination, you're literally walking out the front door of your house. If there were a radius, a zone, that it felt safe to walk, that there were sidewalks that got you to your destination, and you didn't feel like you were going to get run over crossing the street, and the destination was indeed close enough, you'd walk there. And if the destination were further away, there, if there were a reasonable set of bicycle lanes and you could park the bike and not think it was going to get ripped off or damaged, then you might ride your bike. And if you had to go further still, um, but if there was good transit and it was still running even on, after work, if you happened to work late that night, the buses were still running and they were at a high enough frequency and you felt safe on the transit system and it was a reasonable price, you'd use transit. And only as a last resort would you have to get in your car. That's a concept. This is just a schematic that transportation planners and engineers sometimes think about this sort of the trip decision hierarchy, as I call it. The project engages employers in the effort to improve air quality by providing them with tools to help their employees take control of their commutes and help to retool their operations and maintenance activities to reduce emissions. For Mecklenburg News Now, I'm Bill Carroll.